Hey guys, in this video I want to show you some of the features on the TI-84 Plus CE that you'll most probably use a lot in calculus. I won't go into the typical basics of how to use this calculator, but I'll keep the video focused on things you'll need specifically for calculus. And I'll cover some of them in this video and I'll cover some in uh, other videos. Um, so you'll need to know how to find minimums, maximums, intersections from graphs. You'll also need to know how to integrate and differentiate on the calculator and those will be covered in this video. And one thing I would say is use the calculator that you will use on the AP exam or any big exam throughout the year so you become really familiar with the calculator's functions. So without further ado, let's get to it. First, let's graph uh, just something really basic like x squared. So let's go into y equals and let's type in uh, x squared and then graph it okay so we have the graph of x squared now so let's say we want to find the minimum from this graph well we can already see that the minimums at 0 0 but let's do it graphically what you want to do is you want to hit second and then when the arrow shows up in the corner you want to hit trace and you want to go down to minimum. You can use the arrow buttons right here to go down to minimum, but what I like to do is the minimum is number three, so I just hit number three and it takes me to uh, the minimum setting. So now we're back at the graph and notice in the bottom it says left bound with a question mark. So what you want to do is find the point where the minimum is most probably located. So the minimum is located at zero zero so that that's where my cursor started off at because that's where I left it now I want to go just a little bit to the left of that using the arrow buttons and then I want to hit enter and now it says right bound with a question mark and I want to go back down to zero zero and then go to the right of that a little bit and then hit enter now it says guess with a question mark so I go back down to zero zero now my guess is that the minimum is at zero zero so that's where I want to uh, put the uh, cursor and then hit enter now it shows me that the minimum is at x equals zero and y equals zero and finding the maximum you'd follow the almost the same procedure but with the maximum feature so let's graph something different um, let's graph negative x squared Notice now I have two graphs on the screen. If I wanted to turn one of them off, all I would want to do is go back to y equals, go to the graph I want to turn off. I want to turn off x squared, so I go to that. I move the cursor onto the equal sign. Now the equal sign is blinking. I hit enter, and then I move, move the cursor away from the equal sign. Now see that negative x squared is the equal sign is highlighted in black, but in uh, the x squared, there is the equal sign is not highlighted. So when I go back to graph, I see that x squared is not on the graph anymore. Now, if I wanted to find the maximum, I follow almost the same procedure I followed for uh, the previous uh, graph where I found the minimum. So second trace, uh, hit number four, and then I go to the left of it a little bit, then go to the right little bit and then guess and the maximum is at zero zero and if I wanted to turn the graph back on the one I turned off just go back to equal sign hit enter now the equal sign is highlighted again in black and now I can go back to this and oh put the other graph back on now if I wanted to find the intersection of these two graphs at this point all I have to do is second trace just like before and then intersect is number five so I do number five and all this time all I have to do is just uh, figure out where the intersections approximately located and that's at zero zero so I put the cursor there hit enter once hit enter twice and a third time and the intersections at zero zero as simple as that we want to go second quit to get out of the graph and to f integrate on the calculator we have to go to math 
is the mat button right here and then you see you have numbered lists again just like when we hit second trace where you see F and INC with a parenthesis that's the integration feature so instead of going down one by one which takes a long time just hit number nine and boom there is the integration feature so let's say we're going to uh, integrate something from three to six so those are the limits of integration and let's keep it really simple and let's do x cubed and then you definitely have to put the dx at the end of all of this and it gives you the integral now if you wanted it in terms of fraction what you all you have to do is you could go back up there or you could do it the first time around go back to math fractions already selected because it's number one just hit enter and it shows you the integral in terms of fractions now if you wanted to differentiate you go back to math and uh, you choose number eight and you want to differentiate with respect to x so you put d over dx so you just hit the x and it automatically takes you to the parentheses and then let's let's just keep it simple let's differentiate uh, x squared with uh, and let's say we want to differentiate at x equals 1 and we get the answer I hope this video is helpful if you haven't already subscribed uh, in future videos I'll show some more features and take care guys I'll see you next time